Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing a quick little book unhaul. I have a lot of books as you know but I reorganized my shelves. I took everything off and I, I also had a bunch of other books that weren't on my shelves yet. When I put everything back, I had like five stacks of books on my floor still and a stack in my closet, which made me realize maybe I should unhaul some books. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing today. Usually the thing people say throughout this video is like, no, I can't send them to you. But <laughs> I opened up a Depop shop, which is that just this app and you could purchase some of the books if you want them. Um, my prices are going to be like negotiable. Um, it's going to depend on shipping. Like I'm still have to go to like see about that, but the shop's up. There's a bunch of books on there and I'm super excited about it. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so if you guys want to buy any of these books, I'll have the Depop shop linked down below. I'd really appreciate it. And yeah, if you I'm only putting them up for like a few dollars each so yes but let's jump into it so I'm also doing like arc and like merch for trade so like that's on Twitter <laughs> if you care about that but I'm also like on the Depop I'm just selling some like bookmarks and stuff like that that were from BookCon like exclusives um if you care about that book that I'm getting rid of is The Passage by Justin Cronin I believe I got this one as a gift actually which makes me feel kind of bad but I've had this book for like two or three years. I know it's I think an adult fantasy. It was blurred by like Stephen King. No, I don't even know who it was blurred by. But it was there's a lot like there's a lot of praise, not on booktube I've seen, but like in general for this book. And it's a brick. I've had it for so long. I really don't have interest in reading it. And if I do, I can always just get the like in the future I can always just get the UK paperback for like six dollars. <laughs> if I had to but yes plus this takes up a lot of room so yeah this one's going and the lovely reckless I haven't read this one either I bought it on sale and of course when you buy books on sale you're kind of just like "Ooh, they're on sale so I'll buy them but then you're like do I really want to read that not really like I have other books I want to read so goodbye <laughs> more than this by Patrick Ness I got this one from a thrift store and it's like almost in perfect condition and again I've tried to read this one I just can't do it. I don't know. I'm just, I just can't get into it. And I've had this for so long where it's like, if I would have read it already, if I was going to read it. Next, I have The Amateurs by Sarah Shepard. Again, another sale book that I didn't read. I need to stop doing that. Also, I have here volumes one and two of Attack on Titan that I'm going to be selling together. Um, basically, I read volumes one and two. They were good. But there's like 60 of these and if I really want to read them I'm just gonna like get them from the library or something because I do not have room to collect all of these and it's not the series I'm most interested in out of all the manga series that I've read so these two are going. They have Project Semicolon. This is um, a non-fiction YA book about suicide awareness so I thought it was really important for that because when I purchased it like some of the funds went to the organization which was great obviously but the thing with this book it was kind of underwhelming there was just I have a whole like there's reviews on these books like I don't I don't rem even barely remember what I said about this book but I don't really want it anymore and I think someone else could get a read like someone else could appreciate this more than I did and I don't know I just don't need it so I'm like later next up i have the cellist of seria avo i read this one for school and i just wasn't impressed by it i paid like full price for it which is like 20 dollars. so like if anyone wants this like check out the depop because like i don't really want it anymore it was just like it was fine um i have tabs in it and like if you message me through like the thing i can keep the tabs in or take them out or whatever i don't know if you want like the tabs next i have the girl who fell this is by S.M. Parker. This is a signed copy as well. So yeah, I'm just never gonna read it. And it, it was another one of those like sale books. But ba bam, it's signed. I don't know if you could see that, but it's signed. So next I have Beautiful Broken Girls by Kim Savage. Another like sale kind of buy that I'm just really not interested in. 
The Vegetarian by Han Kang. I've had this for a while, tried to read it, can't really get into it, haven't been able to get into it. I've tried it for readathons too. It's so short, but like the narration just really like turns me off. I'm like, no thanks. So I have OCD Love Story. Um, this one I have owned for a while and I just don't see myself picking it up. I think I've tried to read it before. I think this one was also a gift, so I feel a little bit bad about that, but I'm just not gonna read it. So like might as well give it to someone who will. Um, I also have this No Fear Shakespeare of The Merchant of Venice. I have a copy of Heartsick by Chelsea Kane because I have two of these. And Ten Count is also for sale if you're interested. But yes, those are some books that I'm going to be getting rid of through selling or <laughs> however I can uh, because I need more room on my shelves and on my floor, which has now been taken over. So that's a problem. <laughs> But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And of course, I'm not pressuring you to buy anything from the Depop. I just know a few other booktubers have made it as well. And I just thought if you guys are interested in any books, then yeah. And Depop's also a good place for clothes and stuff too, if you're interested in that. Um, but yes, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you're new here, like, subscribe, comment down below. Check out my social medias, all the jazz. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I'll see you guys super soon. Bye.